In this video lesson, we're going to discuss aggregate demand. We have PL representing price level for the vertical axis, and we have RGDP representing real GDP for the horizontal axis. And we have a downward sloping aggregate demand curve. And we have Y and PL representing price level and GDP. When price levels increase from PL1 to PL2, you will see that there is an inverse relationship between price levels and GDP. When our price levels increase, our GDP will decrease. Well, we previously discussed that there's an inverse relationship between price levels and GDP when dealing with the aggregate demand curve. So in this situation, when our price levels decrease from PL1 to PL2, it's going to increase our GDP from Y1 to Y2 price levels go down, GDP will increase. There will be situations when both price levels and real GDP are moving in the same direction. For example, during an expansionary policy, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the right, creating an entirely new curve, which will result in both price levels and real GDP increasing from price level one to price level two, and from Y1 to Y2. And this is seen through expansionary policies. When we are dealing with contractionary policies, the aggregate demand curve will shift to the left from AD to AD1, lowering both price levels and real GDP. Price levels will go down from PL1 to PL2 and GDP will also go down from Y1 to Y2, and this is seen through contractionary policies.